Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. What's the cave in Aladdin? Uh, Erica, be. talk. Hello, hello. There we go. Siri, what's the cave in Aladdin? <coughs> Where the genie is at the beginner. Let's see. All right, I think I got everything squared away. Cool. The Cave of Wonders. Oh, Cave of Wonders. That's a cool cave. <laughs> Yeah, Cave of Dreams, Werner Horzog. You know that guy? I'm familiar. I'm not that familiar. The German I know guy? the name, but I. He talks. Uh, he's like Timothy Treadwell. <laughs> 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 he did that Grizzly Man documentary. I don't know, but oh. yeah, I love it where he ends up getting eaten by the grizzlies at the end. Doesn't the it just have audio? Yeah. He and his girlfriend. He says, "You should destroy this. You should destroy this. No one should hear this ever again." <laughs> <laughs> And he also did the documentary about the people on uh, Death Row, didn't he? Yeah, Into the Abyss. That yeah, was that's pretty good. good. One. Yeah. That one guy's just like really nutty, if I remember correctly. The one guy on Death Row. Yeah, he's crazy. And then his <laughs> dad also on Death Row. So crazy. Oh, my gosh. It's a family affair. It starts as a family tree, and, and it's so scary. <laughs> yeah, it ends. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> We were talking about the Disney movies. We actually... Have you ever heard Josh Groban uh, <laughs> sing as the Beast? <laughs> no. He has an angelic voice. Oh, my God. That's making him watch lots of Josh Groby. Is it a, a play or is it the live it's, action movie? Yeah, it was a play. We were watching plays. Have you ever seen, like, Cats? I feel like I want to see Cats now. Oh, Cats is great. It's Run wonderful. Tum Tugger. I oh, love I watching him. that heard clip. heard the song last night. Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> Did you watch yeah, like the sexy cat that everyone wants to fuck? <laughs> yeah. You watched the one from the nineties? I seen it live. Sexy. I yeah. saw it at the Pantages with my friend Amisa. I made her go with me. I like that. I watch that sometimes. And he he's like, I'd rather there have he is. I'd rather have pheasant, but you want to give me grouse. I know. Don't. Don't. Yeah, some of the <laughs> freaking lyrics I are go insane. Out. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> Give me a cotton of milk, and I'd rather have a soda pop. <laughs> <laughs> down, down, down. Yeah. So cool. How was the guy writing that stuff? Do you think he was on drugs writing Andrew that? or love Lloyd Webber. He's seems wonderful. Like yeah, I wonder what that process was, because it seems so, just the song there seems so are. drug-like. And inspired. the dances are they so good. They insane. It's like jazzercise kind yeah. of dance moves. Yeah, it's very sexualized, and all the female cats are like, oh, and it's very tugger. 80s, too. Jellical <laughs> <laughs> uh, cats. Yeah, the Jellical cats. Rest in peace, Pele. I don't even watch soccer, I but I guess he died. He had a big head of hair, didn't he? Yeah, he had a good head of hair on him. Maybe really? that was Maradona. <laughs> Who is Maradona? <laughs> <laughs> a different one. Let's see. I think Pele bald. No, he had a good head of hair. You're right. Grant, have you ever seen Cats? No, but my dad used to listen to it in the car all the time. Oh, no. That's not like the <laughs> listen in the car kind of. <laughs> that's funny. It was just always this or Enya. Oh, that's a wonderful. One that was on the, the smooth. What was the commercial that was always on TV for the CDs? Do you remember that, Casey? You might mm, not remember that. They maybe. Had a, but you it remember had... what CDs are, Casey? Yeah, I got a couple. I got Waylon Jennings' greatest hits in my car. Oh, do you? Yeah. That sounds good. That and Talking Heads Stop Making Sense. Love it. Great live album. I know. That's a wonderful DVD. That's a wonderful movie. It is. Is that when he's on coke, you were telling me? I think he used to do a lot of cocaine, didn't he? That's what I always heard. Maybe that's not true. David Byrne? Yes, yes. Perhaps. I don't know. I don't remember. Who's this But the guy who directed, here's a fun movie fact, who directed Mm -hmm. Stop Making Sense, Directed Silence of the Lambs. Hmm. Oh, really? What is that person's name? Who is that? Jonathan Demi, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that is in Memphis. What does that smell like? Was that a hair? Yeah, it smelled good. It smelled like L'Oreal Paris. Ooh. Yum. I love that shit. Casey, talking about movies. Oh, my God. We saw The Whale last week. The Have you whale. seen that? 
The Brendan no, Fraser one? No, not yet. Didn't go see it. Is it sad? Yeah. Yeah. I, I look over. Erica's crying at the end. I'm literally, I, I was about eyes to all cry. Gl- I saw his eyes glassy. Some little <laughs> old lady sitting next to us gets up and goes, well, that was sad. Yeah. The lady next to us literally <laughs> said that. It was funny. As we're like sniffling, we're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was about to cry a couple times and the end got me. You should watch <laughs> it, man. It's good. It's, yeah, it's a sad one. That's what everyone's saying. Yeah. My my dad took me to see The Rookie with Dennis Quaid. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah. Where he a pitcher, and he gets a little old in his 40s, and he makes a big comeback. And my dad loved baseball, and I remember my dad took me to see that when I was like 10, and I looked over, and my dad was crying. Was he? Aww. Yeah. How What do you think about that? Just that sweet, or just, I don't know, I was hard like, to remember. Dang, man, he really loved baseball. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really loved baseball. Yeah, well, that's sweet. That, yeah. It looks so sad. He's so fat. It's like six hundred pound life. The movie. It's so good. Dang. Yeah, I won't. I won't obviously spoil anything, but it's kind of like you don't know if it's getting better or worse. But then you kind of <laughs> realize. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like at the beginning, I don't know. You don't necessarily if it's just turning around or not. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God. And the little uh, redheaded girl from Stranger Things is in there. She's good. Oh, yeah. She's a big old bitch. She's a bratty teenager. She's rude. Bratty teenager. Rude. Sure. Yeah. If she was pretty good on it. Brendan Fraser was my dad. I would treat him very well. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> yeah, <and> especially <coughs> after. Ooh, bless you. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. I'll be all right. <laughs> the ra- all the ragweed in there? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it's the sawgrass. All the sawgrass. <laughs> that shit is everywhere around here. Yeah, I can barely get out of bed in the morning. I feel like I'm dang whipped and chained up like Krampus, dude. God. Ugh. Yeah, that was his final Christmas a couple of Christmases ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they finally chained him down. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, d- I couldn't get out of my bed in Memphis at my parents' house yeah. for Christmas because my mom keeps the house at 60 degrees or something. <laughs> so I'd be warm under the covers and not want to get out. <laughs> And then I'm telling everybody on Christmas Eve at, like, my aunt and uncle's house, there's, like, people over there and stuff. And I'm telling everybody, oh, go see the whale. It's really sad. You're going (laughs) to love it. (laughs) I kept on bringing that up. Uh, Yeah, I'm the worst at recommending things. Well, you got to see it. Are you all going to go see it? Are you going to go see it? I want to go see it. I'll go see it this weekend. Ooh, I go see it again. That was William. (laughs) Hold on. You looked over and you could tell my eyes were kind of. Glassy, yeah. Like, Ooh, it got me a couple times, and then I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my grandma took me or something like five years ago to see that Stephen Hawking movie, <laughs> The Theory of Everything. Did she yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, this shit's going to be so dumb. Stephen Hawking, whatever, billionaire, genius, brain freak. And billionaire, genius, brain <laughs> freak. <laughs> <laughs> the big three, BGB. And... Uh, I was like, this is going to be stupid. And like halfway through, I was like, just like crying. I was like full blown crying. Like, Why did you take me here? Like, I'm serious. Why did you take me here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch movies. Like, it's stupid. What was happening? It was just sad seeing the illness kind of get him. Yeah, he's just sad. Good morning. He just doing a robot. Yeah, he was always doing a robot. Yeah. yeah. He was. Permanent robot. Bless his heart. I literally read yesterday, I don't know if it's true or not, that his wife married him thinking he was only going to be alive for two years, but then she was his caretaker for the next 30 years or something. And then he know. cheated on her ass. Did he? Yeah. yeah. That other woman would beat him instead. On his caretaker. His caretaker wife, he cheated on her. So oh it worked gosh. out for both of them, I guess. Not that great of a dude. Was he having sex? Could he have sex in the chair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had full control over his, his boners. Whoa. Did he really? Yeah. They get into that? Yeah, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they're like, Steven, I don't know if we can. And he's like, <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. or whatever. <laughs> I wonder how long it was going on before they were busted. Like, was it a long term yeah. love affair with the caretaker? I wonder how that no, worked. No, the wife Shut. was the caretaker, wasn't she? Mm. Oh, but there was another woman. Oh, yeah, there was. Steven sneaking around. <laughs> I could see that. Brutal. <laughs> yeah, but my friend, uh, great Austin comedian, Ryer Cameraman, uh, who's very funny, yeah. she messaged me on Friday. I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to take mushrooms. Do you have any good music recommendations? 
like uh, she said psychedelic music. So for some yeah. reason in my head, I thought like, oh, like psych- like 60s psychedelic rock music. What'd you suggest? And I suggested uh, this band, the, the 13th Floor Elevators, which is Rocky Erickson's band. Because I'd, he- I'd listened to them before and I was like, oh, this would be fun, like psychedelic, like trip out. Like yeah. they're con- considered like one of the godfathers of psychedelic music. And. Uh, I was like, I'll listen to it real quick after I had texted her that. And, and it was like really like pretty intense, like <laughs> screaming and stuff. And I was like, oh, I should, she's going to have a scary ass night. Oh, no. <laughs> she turns that on. I wonder how the trip ended up going. Did you end up saying don't listen to that or did you end up sending anything else? Or I sent her a lot of other stuff too. But yeah, if she clicked on that, maybe she didn't have as much fun. But I saw her the other day and she seemed fine. So. That's cool. Good. Didn't scare her that much. Yeah, it didn't scare her that much, apparently. Had the, after, <laughs> had the afterglow. <laughs> yeah. What is bright. afterglow when people say that? Yeah, you're literally like those little inchworm toys. Do y'all remember those that it's would glow so green? Cute. Glow worms. Adorable. Yeah, glow worms. Yeah. <laughs> we need some of those. Glow worms. They're probably on eBay. Um, hold on. <laughs> First, Casey, we were looking at the uh at the fucking the, the mailbox. He has a P.O. box. The P.O. box. You know, it used to be someone's P.O. box at another time. So uh-huh. he got someone else's. Look at this. This is real. This happened a couple months ago, but it was just in the car. Erica just saw it. Uh, <laughs> PJ, I heard about your accident ages ago, but did not realize how bad it was until I saw it on a website. <laughs> I am so sorry. But you will kick on. I remember playing jack shit with you on stage in Hawaii. I pray for you, and I hope you adjust to life. Thanks for everything. Regards, Jack Tomlinson. So if anybody can tell us who PJ is, let me please see. let us know. And then and what the, the website. We're really wondering what the website. Yeah, what's what, the website? What kind of accident? That, too, is like, sorry. Do you see the pop tartar? <laughs> <laughs> it seems to imply that he suffered some sort of paralysis or something, and then it's like... I good know. Eye. <laughs> good eye, Mike. We tried. Yeah, yeah. we tried. <laughs> Seems hardly inappropriate. Yeah, it was just his spare blank cards he had, though. So I get it. Yeah, it's like it was some sort of accident where he he couldn't continue to walk or something, and it's like he's almost poking fun at him by saying at one point he's like, "I hope you walk on or whatever." Kick on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's an Australian thing or something. Maybe it could be Australian people, but and we I, need to find the Tomlinson guy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard a more Australian or PJ. name. P- and then PJ and Jack Tomlinson. <laughs> Tomlinson. <laughs> so do your work, guys, and find these people for us. We need to know who PJ is, what sort of accident it was. Find the website about his accident that was really bad. Reddit, do your work. <laughs> yeah, we need to figure out which which store the card came from. We need all these details. We only know he had a P.O. box in Austin. That's all we know about PJ right now. We don't even know his last name. We don't know if that's his first and last. We don't know anything about his name. That's There's it. a lot of PJs, trust me. We I've Googled spent it. a lot of time Googling PJ accidents, Tomlinson, <laughs> Australia. Website. <laughs> website. Yeah, Googling <laughs> website. <laughs> Was this in a card? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Isn't that insane? I don't know. That's I just so hope funny. he's doing all right. I hope he's okay, too. Dude, the people on 4chan can find this guy. Easy. No doubt. Yeah, we need all our friends on 4chan to figure out who PJ is. Or do you think is. your friend British John could find him? I bet. Maybe. We'd probably have to pay his fucking ass some money, though. But Yeah, I mean, if you can just figure, if anybody can figure it out, please let us know who PJ is. Probably have to put him on retainer. British John, he doesn't do anything unless he's getting that paper. Yeah, I mean, he gets. Yeah, he spent two weeks out at Disney World. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I wonder how he, I wonder if he had fun at Disney World. I don't know. Trip like that, you don't come back from. Once you get a taste, <laughs> yeah. of, once you get a taste of that Epcot life. <laughs> yeah. There ain't no turning back. Yeah, you're there. You're there. Your daughter gets, you get to visit once a month. But you live at Epcot now. <laughs> <laughs> you live at Epcot now. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever tried it. Wasn't there a Tom Hanks movie where he lives at the airport? Yeah, Terminal. <laughs> oh, I thought that was about cancer. That, that was be. the one. I, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, that, I think it was called Terminal. <laughs> I don't know. That would be bad. What's that little guy doing? That's an inchworm. <laughs> That's a dang inchworm. He's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Flying from Dallas to here. It's not a very long flight, but some 
older dude with uh what's the stuff that makes your skin look like it's falling off and like flaky and shit eczema Psoriasis. yeah he, he had eczema all on his left arm and he comes and sits down and he's already like acting like he's pissed off kind of he's some 70 year old man and we just talk the entire time and i swear casey when i'm writing down my name and phone number on a piece of paper for him uh, I'm thinking, is this how I get murdered? Like, is this, this is the start of a fucking movie? Oh my god, it was it was insane. He ended up very nice though, but I literally had the thought he's gonna murder me or something. This was like a bad idea. Wait, why did y'all exchange information? They made friends. Oh, yeah, we good. started talking. I was telling him, uh, I was like, yeah, I'll do. I do some stand up comedy, and he's like, oh, I love Adult Swim, and I was like, what? Because he's literally the seventy year old man. He ended up telling me he was seventy, but he looked old. I was like, oh my gosh, and he knew about like too many cooks and stuff. So we oh, we so just started talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's you, a big Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, fan. that's hilarious. Meat lord. <laughs> yeah, he was very nice. But I thought I'm sure I'm sure this has happened where somebody ends up talking to divulging too much personal information to a stranger and i don't know yep then he's in the dang parking lot he got a cast on his arm and a sling and he goes i need you to help me get something in my car he can't get away with it he has eczema he'd leave skin flakes everywhere (laughs) he can't pick them it's hard to it's It's hard to pick up breadcrumb trail yeah he he wouldn't even get away with it He probably would have. Wait, so Casey, (laughs) did you have a good Christmas? How was it? You were back in Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah, I drove back to Atlanta, did Christmas, did some shows, did the Laughing Skull. How was that? It was great. Cool. Yeah, it was really fun, and did Santa's Hayride. Um, Did Santa's Seasonal Hayride. Santa's Hayride. Hayride. Isn't that a fall thing, Hayrides? For some people, a um, <laughs> guy like me, I can pretty much get a hayride on demand. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I got to make, if I make five or six phone calls, I can get a hayride within an hour. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Even for Grant? Yeah, yeah. It's I like, bet your ass doesn't even get on a hayride, do you, Grant? I would do a hayride. You've done one? Especially a free one. It'll cost you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be free, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, mind. No, you got to wake the farmer up. You got you to put the piglets to bed. It's a whole day thing. <laughs> and then you got to go over state lines. It takes at least 24 hours. God, what a, what a forbidden romance in uh, uh, Charlotte's Web. Wasn't the pig in the... <laughs> weren't the pig in, the, in Charlotte kind of in love a little bit? It seemed like it. They were, yeah. I think so. There was a there was a sexual tension there that was palpable, to That's say how the I least. Saw it. it was, and then all the little spiders popped out, and they all had little pigtails. Do y'all remember that detail? <laughs> I, so I think. No, I'm kidding. But remember, yeah, Charlotte died, and then all the little spiders came. Beautiful. Oh. It's a circle of life. It is a circle of life. Then the pig ate the babies. I always loved it when the rat was eating all the food at the fair or whatever. <laughs> I think there was a good song during that part of the movie. Templeton. Templeton. What that pig doing? Oh, what you do, pig? And that is not Wilbur. That looks like Babe. Babe. Yeah. I saw a wild pig on Friday. I put it in my Instagram story. Is at a rest stop <clears throat> outside of Beaumont, Texas. I, I, I see a, the ground's rooted up. I go, as I live and breathe, there might be a pig around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I do declare there might be a little, <laughs> little stinky little pig running around here. And I go in, I go out, hear a little truffle noise. I turn my head. Did you hear a little truffle <laughs> noise? <laughs> <laughs> a little truffle peak. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> Dang. Is, is, is it big? As, yeah, as, I think I saw that on mm-hmm. a, little, a black one. As, oh, my gosh. A black beauty. True. Tried and true. As much as the sky is blue. So you can pig. tell by seeing the ground kind of. <laughs> yeah, what are pigs yeah. looking for? They're looking the for stuff. And the truffle noise. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't there that truffle pig pigs? Doing. Yeah. Yeah. Were there truffles there in Texas, or they were looking for something else? Aren't truffles like a delicacy? <laughs> it looked like that, but it was black. It was a boar. It was a wild boar, I think. Oh. Did it have little tusks or whatever you... No, so I guess the females, I guess it was like a sow or something. Um, but yeah, it's like this walkway, like a elevated walkway, and the pig just stick his head out. He go, what you do? <laughs> oh, did he seem nice enough? He didn't. Yeah. Did he come at you or anything? Yeah, I started filming his ass, and I guess he fucking hates cameras. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. So he was like, he gave me one glance, and he went, 
<laughs> Bye bye. Was he big? He was huge. Oh my gosh. We would yeah. always go to the fair in Memphis and my mom would always somehow find the pigs having sex. I and I remember video. seeing their little corkscrew penises <laughs> and the squeal noises. And my mom would always be so excited watching. It would happen almost every year if I it was actually crazy. was that's so funny. I recently talked about that with someone at work. Pig penises. They're yeah. like a corkscrew. And I found a video because I would go to the L.A. <laughs> County Fair for my birthday because it was in September. And they would be the little ones. And then one time a cow gave birth on my birthday. Oh, my gosh. That's like a birthday miracle. And I yeah. watched it. It came out of a sack looking thing. Could, did they have to cut open the sack or it just popped open I think when it, it popped came out? and he was all wet. Cool. <laughs> Dang. I wonder where Good he for is. him. That's sweet. I hope he's still with us. Luckily, when a cow born with like one eye, have y'all ever seen those cows? Oh, right in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> they, they are having sex. Oh, those are little baby pigs. It looks like having sex. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> too hot for TV. Yeah, it's two pigs have two little baby pigs having sex. It, it was in the like. baby section at the fair. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's the cutest part. Well, that's sweet. Well, I hope the pig you saw, Casey, is doing all right. Hopefully, I think they're pretty much an invasive species, so everybody r really hate pig around here. Yeah, but I, I see was those videos of people like with traps, and then they're shooting. Yeah, all the. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I found this one channel one time of some guy <laughs> with an airsoft gun, and he was shooting rats with like a high powered <laughs> scope. It was so funny. Yeah. He was just killing these things, but it's like little rats, and it's like an airsoft gun, so it's all right. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's pretty brutal, though. <laughs> Sometimes they kick a little after other times. Uh, they'd run around in circles for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> Yikes. I do not recommend watching that. On New do you have any New Year's resolutions, Casey, or anything? Just keep it real. <laughs> um, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you haven't really been keeping it real lately. I've, huh? I've kind of, well, no. He's working on it. I can She's tell. Right. Okay. Okay. I've okay. kind of lost myself in the hustle, and I got to. <laughs> I got to take a long look in the mirror, <laughs> lace up my Doc Martens, and keep it real, you know? I like those Docs you've been wearing recently. Yeah. Steel These are toe. Cool. They give me two or three inches in my height. So. <laughs> I'm like 6'1 now. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. I have no idea. I've just been. I need to not game as much. I just downloaded some new game, Evil West. Whoa. I love it. That's fun. Yeah, I'm on a really hard level right now, though. Is it like bad cowboys? Yeah, it's like cowboys, but you're killing monsters. Oh. He's like oh. a robot arm. And I have a robot arm. A very powerful robot yeah, you arm. you killed werewolves. <laughs> werewolves, <laughs> vampires. vampires, monsters. Whoa. That's cool. I'm currently on a very hard worm right now with worm arms. Worm arms. I cannot beat the fucking thing. I've tried for the past two hours. I can't beat it. God, the depart the DOJ would love to get their hands on a big old worm with a bunch of worms. Yeah, <laughs> and what is that? <laughs> I don't like it. Who's I, this I looked up one eyed cow. <laughs> There's these weird pictures of one eyed cows. That's a cow. That is a sheep. That's an eye. It might be a goat. This it almost a, looks this like one a might be a goat. Gorilla tummy or something. <laughs> it's the mat. Like it almost looks like it could be a gorilla or something. Yeah, I bet he got astigmatism. I bet he need contact lens. Probably got astigmatism. What is that? Where your eye goes another way? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I just know the words. Astigmatism. That's crazy, man. G Grant, do you still have those images that I emailed you? Uh, I can get them. I can oh pull them up. Oh my gosh, look how cute. That's fake. That might, this these, one might be fake. Check these guys out. Yeah, what's... Can you confirm if that's Photoshop? <laughs> look like a big old thumb. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Maybe that's what's <laughs> capturing all the people outside of the national forests. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Was this? I don't know if we were recording yet. We were talking about missing four one one. Yeah, people going missing in droves in national parks. And when you ask the U.S. government about it, they go, "We don't keep uh, data on that information." Unexplainable. Unexplainable, and most importantly, unforgivable. Mm -hmm. For sure, especially if you have a vasectomy. Yes. But wait, if you do have a vasectomy, the aliens will bring you back. If you have a vasectomy, the aliens will take you back to Earth because you're of no use. Mm -hmm. I wonder how far into outer space you get before they turn around. <laughs> I wonder if they get pissed off. I wonder how... You forgot to check his dick. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't check his stinky little dick, you idiot. <laughs> 
God, I was talking to my brothers on Christmas, and I've been reading stuff about how they might try to like mine like the moon for stuff or different things. And I was thinking, what did they do? Just like strap a parachute to the things? But then it's like, well, how do the parachutes will just float away? How do you get that stuff back to the earth? <laughs> Because no, I was picturing true. just attaching parachutes to the stuff, but that probably w- that wouldn't work. Maybe get one of those long tubes they have at the bank where you put the thing in. Oh, yeah. Whoop, and then it just lands in, like, Bridgeport, Connecticut or something. Someplace, yeah. someplace you don't need. <laughs> or some giant tube just going up into the sky. You can't. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it gets to that point. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I left the freaky cow up there. You can leave him. Yeah, just leave them. Uh, I do have your images, though, Casey. We've come to peace with the freaky cow. Yeah. <laughs> I think, sadly, those things don't live that long. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they <laughs> Diet smoke. Casey, diet smoke has been just a game changer. Diet smoke, for me, means relaxation and elevated mood. And spending time with the ones you love. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're wanting to relax after eating this, they have the gummies that have melatonin in them. But they also have ones with caffeine if you're on the move. Because they can ship it to your house. Right to your door, diet smoke. Yeah. Comes right to your house. It comes right to your house. It's federally legal somehow. I still don't know all the, le- all the details of the legality on that one, but it's legal and they ship it to your house. Comes right to your door. Knock, knock. Who is it? Diet smoke. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Eat one of these with caffeine in it. It's federally legal THC, and they deliver it to your door. Ding okay. Dong. Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong. The <laughs> witch is dead. That was one of the plays we were looking at last, or musicals. The witch is dead. Oh, wicked. wicked. Popular. Rum tum tum. Jerry is dead. Rum tum loves the ones with caffeine in them. And Mungo Jerry. He likes the melatonin one. Very yeah. sleepy. And even if you're not a jellical cat, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you who's pretty jellical about these gummies. <laughs> Us Weekly, who named the Delta 8 gummies the best gummies for beginners. I thought I read about that. Do that. Isn't Us Weekly front mm. page? Yeah, it's they love it. We love it. Everybody loves it. If you're ready for that perfect high, head over to dietsmoke.com and use code WMS for 20% off your first order. That's 20% off the code WMS at dietsmoke.com. Stay groovy. And be careful with the melatonin ones because you're going to melt onto the couch. I got Delta 8 and Delta 9 makes it Delta 7. Yum. 789. 789, baby. Scariest poem ever. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> Was that a Shell Silverstein <laughs> or what? Okay, diet smoke. <laughs> WMS. WMS, 20% off. William, would you like to guess my AI images? Yeah. And so, what? yeah, what is it? You put in, <laughs> how do the AI images even work? You put in a word or phrase or something? So I, yes. So there's a bunch of different websites for it. I can't even remember which one I went to. But you type in a phrase like whatever, Goku playing beach volleyball yeah. or something. Do they look haunted? Some of them are pretty scary. Some of them are pretty scary. And then Trigger I. Trigger warning. I, I want you. I did five of them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> five of the AI. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they can be scary as shit. I Eric make has him done do the ones before. on TikTok. <laughs> They look haunted. Where it turns into ladies with big bosoms oh, that, most of the time. Fun. Have you seen those <laughs> freaking? I'll show you later. Everybody ends up no. with big knockers on that one. What? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it can be other people in the room with you. It scares me when it happens. I. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, That's they all me. turn into big bosomed people. Yeah. <laughs> Made you a couple busty bras. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's badass. <clears throat> but, okay, what are we supposed to do, guess them? So, uh, yeah, I, I will, Grant will show you an image. Okay. And I want you to guess what I typed in to get that image. Perfect. Okay. And then I'll so reveal I, the truth. I can show these in whatever order? Whatever order you want. Cool. Okay. I have all the files here. Here's the first one. Ooh, easy. 
That's, easy. That's I a don't pretty. Know. That's a no. starter one. <laughs> um. <laughs> Is that like a water balloon on the plate? Is that like grandmother baking a cake or something? Or is like it a... Margaret Thatcher? It is Margaret Thatcher. Oh. Oh, you really called that? Dang, he knows Margaret Thatcher. Is that uh what's it called when they have two different color eyes like David Bowie? Oh, did you put that in? <laughs> Dichromium. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't specify that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be so impressed if that was <laughs> What was going on? I was like, how do you do this, Grant? How do you know this? <laughs> Margaret in an emerald. Margaret Thatcher throwing a water balloon. It looks very water balloon like to me, but it I'm does. not. But it looks like an otter or something underneath it. There mm-hmm. is something that I typed in that has to do with what is holding what is above. What a, huh. a stall. Huh? What Margaret? stall? <laughs> 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 Um, how many words? <laughs> <laughs> how many syllables? <laughs> um, so it starts with Margaret Thatcher, blank, 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 blank at blank. Oh man, that's hard. Margaret Thatcher and an otter with a cellophane bag of green Jolly Ranchers. It is a cellophane bag, isn't it? I see that. All right, I'm going to reveal the answer. Let's hear it. Okay, what? It, yeah, it's Margaret Thatcher eating a snow cone with a gremlin. <laughs> so, oh my gosh! <laughs> what a beautiful snow cone that is. I know. It's like it looks like a globe. It's tiger blood flavor. So how are th- how are these things making this <laughs> with just that information? That's scary. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's like celestial. It's like her on like some big peak in Antarctica or something. Aren't artists getting worried about this, that they're making these things? Have you read anything like that, or did I just totally make that up? <laughs> like it's going to take away their jobs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if something like that could happen. <laughs> their job. <laughs> their art jobs? <laughs> yeah. No, it's 100%. A lot of people are worried about that. What do they think? Yeah, it's going to take away their... Yeah, paying gigs. You know Why, why would uh, a band pay an artist when they can just type in information themselves and make their own CD label or whatever? Creepy. Creepy crawly. I don't like that. I saw one recently where uh, Joe, the old guy who takes the pictures, sweet Joe, he Uh typed in something and it was uh, made a whole couple paragraphs. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, you can do. I did one that was really long. (laughs) It's it's not this one, but. Oh, this is one of them? Yeah, it's good, actually. Yeah, this is one of them. It's actually a pretty good image. Hmm, ladybug balloon in the alley. Yeah, it looks a lot different than that, or it looks totally different than the other Carmen one. Carmen Sandiego with a ladybug balloon. It's very steampunk. I think I clicked... <laughs> I think I, there's different filters, and I think this is the only one I, I clicked it's steampunk, steampunk <laughs> okay. filter. So, pretty badass. So, yeah. Go ahead lady and Lady on a well... <laughs> lady on a well with a ladybug balloon. Okay, Grant, final guess. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't even looked at this. Go uh, ahead, take a peek. Steampunk Carmen San Diego being attacked by a giant ladybug. Mm. This one, I don't think the AI quite understood. <laughs> what What's for? this one? So this one is a strong pregnant ladybug watches her firefighter husband go to work for the last time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so it's supposed to be like a harrowing. I kind of yeah, see it now. Emotional image. Mm. So you can literally put in a big old sentence in there. You don't oh, have yeah. to just do a three words. That or is something. a pregnant ladybug, huh? I think it got confused because it looks like maybe like a sex worker, like some <laughs> sort of like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ladybugs can be sex workers. And, but it's <clears throat> not what I was going for. <laughs> Yeah, that's so weird. There's a lot behind that one. So this is a bad. This one's pretty badass. It looks pretty basic, but there's like a dark history to it. Oh, ooh, um, <clears throat> damn, Luigi with the machete. It's tough. Luigi cutting the floor. Oh. William? Damn. <laughs> These are hard. Um, 
Luigi about to assassinate a political rival. That sounds like something Casey would write. That was actually really close. (laughs) Oh my gosh, was it? (laughs) It is Luigi committing seppuku after surrendering to the Allied forces on the 19th of December, 1945. Oh, man. You were close. Yeah, I was picturing like a cartel member, like some sort of Mexican drug gang. (laughs) Yeah. No, he was definitely... Well, that's Thomas, the train engine face, right? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, what's going on this here? This is the one I wrote a whole paragraph. So it came out quite beautiful. It is really it beautiful. It is. It's hauntingly. It looks like, beautiful. like Father Christmas. He has two eyebrows. Like it's beautiful. Yeah, I've never oh, seen that. Let me move it up a little. It's like maybe sleeping up there. Whoever. Yeah, Father Christmas, maybe. Santa. Sandy. <laughs> All right. Well, so mm. this is kind of a long one. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Does it like start with like Twas the Night Before Christmas or something? <laughs> so it starts with the Polar Express. <laughs> okay. So I. Welcome so, to the Polar yeah, Express. Yeah, I have Polar Express vibes. <laughs> I see the Polar Express yeah. vibes there. It kind of like Hogwarts adjacent. Totally. Yep. <laughs> Very Dickensian <laughs> London cool. <laughs> so this one is uh, the Polar Express, but everyone is atheist. And Tom <laughs> and Tom Hanks is icing out the kids because no one remembered his birthday. Granted, nobody should even know it was his birthday because they just met him. But he's being unreasonable because he's having to cover for the other servers lately because they all got staff infections. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> so they close. did a wonderful yeah. job at that one. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> staff infections. You don't need to mess around with staff. Mm-hmm. No, they were better better off staying out of work. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, you do not need a staff infection. I had one on my leg one time. It was awful. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to go to the emergency room. I went to uh, it's my freshman year of school after hell week with the fraternity, and I had a little pimple on my upper right thigh, and it was kind of itching, and I put my jeans on and went to classes, and when I came back, it had morphed from a little pimple on my thigh to probably coming up off my skin this much in a giant circle. It made me feel weird inside, so I got my buddy Duncan to take me to the emergency room. (laughs) And it was a staph infection? Oh, yeah, it was horrible. Some kid the next year almost got his arm cut off because he waited too long to go to the uh, emergency room, and his parents came down, and the national fraternity came down, and they kicked a bunch of people out. You had to go – everybody had to go talk to the guy individually. (laughs) In the fucking T-Rex where people worked out, it was very awkward. Because <laughs> they blame the fraternity? Yeah, I mean, it was because the frat house was so dirty and shit. <laughs> I was weirdly enough remembering last night, there was something called Big Brother Night, uh-huh. where basically you got, that was the first taste for me where I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I guess the stripper was late, because you got like a, a stripper came to the place, but she was late, so we were blindfolded for like six hours, <laughs> which that in and of itself is like a nightmare, but we're getting physically hazed this whole time, like pretty brutally. But I was just remembering one of the Big Brother nights when I was a upperclassman. I go down there, and it was in this basement, and there's this eerie light, and there's this giant dude named Nick Moore who was always like our boxer <laughs> for the SA boxing tournament. And he literally picks some dude up. They're all blindfolded, and again, it's in this dusty basement. He picks somebody up, and throws them against this giant wooden post in the middle of the thing, and I'm just like, whoa. (laughs) But I used to love watching it. I would fucking watch it, because I was like, "Ah, I'll probably never be able to see anything like this again. I don't know why I was thinking about that last night. Holy shit. I remember one fucking night, I was all high on cocaine and drinking, and I went down into the basement, and it was like 35 dudes in a circle, and it's all humid down there, and... People are doing all this shit, and I'm just screaming something about slipping slides and making them repeat shit after me. And then to every person, I went up and hit them real hard with my elbow in the chest, and I fucking woke up the next day, like, all hung over, and I was like, why can I not move my fucking arm? I forgot I had done that. <laughs> that was the worst I ever got. Yeah, I hit so every... these, these were pledges? Oh, yeah. You were just fucking bowing them? Every single one, I was bowing them. Just like an insane person. But That's it, the only shit. But That's then the it made him sad when his brother got there. 
Yeah, because everybody was fucking with my brother Vance, and I didn't know if it's because they didn't like me or because they were just hasty. It was just weird. It was kind of a weird <laughs> social Frat dynamic life. going on. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, I remember walking that basement and Nick Moore fucking tossing some dude. I mean, it's his fucking post. I was like, oh my God. It was only a matter of time before something happened. Four staff, four staff yeah. infections broke out in that damn place. Yeah, yikes. Okay, so what? Oh, look at this. Already kind of like a tremors type of head, but I don't know if this tremors. <laughs> so it's a special sort of dinosaur man, you may know. <coughs> um, <laughs> looks he like doing he's doing arm wrestling, arm wrestling. Yeah. for sure. He that was not my intention. It came out looking like that. <laughs> Dead. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I can just spill the beans on this one. So, You're going to have to give it up. So this is Jar Jar Binks fighting the girl from Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> so, uh, so that came out. What's Fault in Our Stars? I don't even know that is one. Is that like a big. sick people movie? <laughs> yeah. It's what do you girl. mean a sick people Like they're movie. both dying. They're both sick. They have like cancer or cystic fibrosis <laughs> or something. Oh, gosh. Well, it's not, it's not my fault. And it's a, yeah, it's yeah. the Fault in Their Stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's a popular book, but I would want to see what happened if uh, she was put head to head with one of the best. Uh, That's Jar Jar. That's supposed to be Jar Jar, but he came out looking lizard badass. man, yeah, scary looking. Yeah, they made him really. He's really uh, lanky. Look like, at he's buff. Yeah, he's got a lot of muscle definition. I don't think he has skin. So is Jar Jar versus the lady who's dying? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and she won. In my head, she won. And in my heart, cool. That's why yeah, they didn't yeah, show yeah. her. Yeah. What happens at the end of the movie? Do both of the people die? I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I just know they're sick or whatever. So maybe they live. <laughs> it's pretty right. badass. I think we got one more. So maybe I did do six. Is there one more? Yep. <laughs> it is. That is a little prank. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That's, That's another pretty. kind of epic looking. Yeah. Is it like an Egyptian person? Is hmm. So it's set Emperor's in Emperor's New Groove person. It's set in Africa. That? Yeah. Looks like Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go sleep in Central Park when I lived in fucking New York. Yeah. I'd go read a catcher in the rye and fall asleep on a rock. I'd go fucking. Yeah. It's exactly what. Holden Caulfield did. I know, I know. <laughs> he read his own book. Yeah, that was a weird time. I remember leaving the bar I would always go to one night, and I could not fucking walk back to my place. I was falling everywhere. <laughs> I made it back somehow. <laughs> and there was a door guy at the building I lived, and I fucking took a picture of his ass sleeping one night because we kind of got into it, and he saw he caught me, and he was pissed. And he's like, I don't even know what you're doing here. It was bad. <laughs> Because I was with a family friend at their place. It was all awkward as shit. <laughs> okay, so this is in Africa somewhere. I Yeah, I was getting an emperor's new groove, but I don't even... Where's that emperor from? Cusco? Uh, he was like... Uh, Cusco? Is that what he is? <laughs> it's like Aztec or uh, Mayan. Yeah. Something somewhere like down under. Somewhere, <laughs> down somewhere under. in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Survivor Gabon. Hmm. Is this like Os Osama? I thought you were about to say Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you about to say Ozempic. Is this Ozempic? It's, uh, I lost my notes, but I remember what it is from heart. Um, because oh. an, an artist always remembers. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they always say an, an artist never forgets. <laughs> and they never forgive. Um, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. And so this <laughs> same with the elephant. They never forget and they never forget. They forgive. It's like a crow. No, they they never forget a face. I know. I want to make a crow friend. Yeah. How are they that smart with their little brains? I don't know. They got these little pea brains. Yeah. They're, you would think they'd be super stupid, but they're just really smart. <laughs> so this one, if I remember correctly, is uh, Coochie So Good. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's coochie, huh? <laughs> so, this, uh, coochie's so good, it made me leave my wife and join extremist group Boko Haram. 
So, oh my gosh! So that's like yeah. the person leaving the <laughs> yeah. happily about to go join Boko Haram, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Yeah, AI one of those thinks things. Coochie's so good as a person, probably." Yeah, maybe that's Coochie so good. That is, or he's walking into the metaphor metaphorically really good uh, Coochie. <laughs> and it's just that kind of bright. You're it's right. like he's walking into the light. It is metaphorical. <laughs> it's like the light at the end. <laughs> the last thing you see before you die is just good Coochie. <laughs> before you start chopping little girls' heads off. What is up with Boko Haram? Are they still doing stuff? Yeah, I remember they kidnapped all those girls. I forgot about that. Yikes. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> I just like, oh, I forgot about them kidnapping all those girls. Uh, I don't know. I think they're still active. Hopefully not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bad. But, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, there's some chick there with, like, super good Gucci or something. I don't <laughs> the know. The Haram thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, look, he's just confidently walking into the into his into his future. You know. Yeah, they, they say in um, esoteric circles, um, sometimes when the door is closed, the window is open. So maybe he, this is him yeah, passing yeah, yeah. on to another plane. When one door closes, another window opens. Something like that. It's cold in here. Close the window. It's cold in here. <laughs> Close the damn window. Shut that window. <laughs> the fucking window. It's freezing in here. <laughs> Sha. Okay. <laughs> God, what about the people freezing in their cars in Buffalo? I saw that. Awful. Could you even imagine? I'd get on the hood. Well, I guess it was really cold, right? Oh, yeah, get on the hood, keep the car running, and get on the hood, because the hood's normally warmer. Yeah, raising the roof. <laughs> <laughs> what do they That's t- what I did, raise the damn roof <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> yeah, trying to get the snow off of the sunroof so you can climb out. <laughs> what happens? Yeah, people just freeze in there. Yeah they, get, yeah, they get stuck. Yeah, thank God I drove to Georgia. Obviously, there's no snow, like, in the south, but all those flights were... Like people, yeah, I know. People can't come back for like a couple weeks. <laughs> Could you imagine? I can't even imagine. No. What would I have done? Yeah. If I just got stuck in Atlanta or something, that'd be a nightmare. How long does it take to drive uh, from where you were in Georgia to Austin? Like 13 hours. Mm. It's pretty far. Did you do it all in one day? No, I can only do like six hours, and I start zoning out, and it gets real dangerous. But Did you stop at a hotel? Yeah, I stopped in Biloxi. Then, Ooh, I've been down there before. Did you go to any casinos? Don't they have casinos down there? They do. I don't trust one. I've only been to a casino once. I think I'd gamble. I'd bet it all on black. I'm very impulsive. Ooh, we should all go to Vegas. Let's we have, go to Vegas. We have free rooms. Yeah, from the little app that we always get. My Vegas. On. Download My Vegas, guys. My We're Vegas? sponsored. Dot com. Get My the Vegas. Konami. That one's wonderful. Yeah, I used to love love playing the red and black thing, roulette. But yeah. then Because I was kind of winning for a little bit, but then it got He'd stressful the, because the, I wasn't. I was like, The slot machine this. roulette. Like, he wouldn't go to the table. Like, <laughs> it had actual things spinning and everything, but it was like robots. And you just sit there for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking cigarettes. I know. I took him the first time. He was loving it. Did you win any money? I can't remember. I never. We would go a bunch. We were going like every four to six months. Yeah, it was an easy drive from LA. Because of the free hotels. Yeah. Yeah, it was an easy drive from LA. I was in the bathroom one time and some, I was high on cocaine the whole time. And some black <laughs> dude was trying to sell me some. And like, he let we William went... get a little sample on his hand or something. Yeah, in the kids' bathroom. And I'm at waiting the for arcade him. Arcade in the casino. In New <laughs> no, York, no, no, no. It was downstairs. Was it was in the casino. And I'm waiting for William because we're supposed to go on the roller coaster at New York, New York. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm this is a long time. And then he walks out with some guy. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, is he going on the roller coaster with us? <laughs> but he was scared of roller coasters. And he was also trying to rob me. He was probably also trying and to he, take and my so money. We're like going up the escalator to go to like the arcade area to get the thing, and he's f- asking William, "So do you want any? So do you want any? Do you have cash? Do you want any?" He's like, "I, I don't know." He's like, "Let's go in the bathroom." So then that he goes into the arcade bathroom, and he walks out immediately. He's like, "Let's get out of here." <laughs> yeah. Wait, what transpired? He wasn't trying to buy any. Yeah, from I wasn't him. trying to buy oh, any. Okay. He's like, "Wasn't it good? Don't you want to buy some?" You're just trying to get a sample. And he, well, he yeah, gave him a sample to try to saying. make him buy some. <laughs> I would just talk to everybody. And then and six it, hours later, we're walking down the, the strip, strip, and we see the guy, and, it, and he's like, how's the roller coaster? Yeah. I swear to God, yep. it was so funny. Yeah. It was like, oh, it was fun. 
I was trying to get his ass, the drug dealer guy on the roller coaster with well, us. Well, I was, because I was sick of him asking him, like, oh, wasn't it good? Don't you want to buy some? I was like, are you going to go on? I have a free ticket if you want to come. He's like, no, my mom used to push me on a roller coasters in Coney Island. I'm scared of them. <laughs> God. Yeah, weird times there. And that's where I learned not to drink too much vodka and lemonade because I got the worst acid reflux of my life <laughs> mixing those two fucking it's things. It's a fun place, though. <laughs> yeah, get swimming pools. We want to go food. to Gordon Ramsay's Hell Kitchen and get Beef Wellington. Yeah, I want a Beef Wellington. We've never had. What's a Beef Wellington? It's a it's like steak a fu- yes. wrapped in, like, puff pastry. Yeah. Whoa. There's something in between. Oh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay's. We Beef have Wellington. To go there. Beef Welly. That's what they used to call me when I played double A baseball. He's coming <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <laughs> number 24. Number 24 on the field and number one in your heart. <laughs> Beef Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want the world to see me. <laughs> That's my walk up music. <laughs> That would be fun. That would be a fun part of being a baseball player, being able to choose your walk-up music to that. That would be exciting. I think about that sometimes. (laughs) But also that wrestling too. Yeah, wrestling. But we that happens in our lives too. Like for stand up, it happens all the time. Yeah, right. I know. I know. What songs are you guys using right now? Do you have a typical song, Casey? Whoa, look at that! I just thought I'd get crazy with it. I use Benny and the Jets sometimes, but... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Maybe Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck, I think, is really lame and funny Yeah, to, to walk up one. to. Like, Thunder. <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> you don't know what the hell's about to happen. <laughs> that's funny. What do you use? I typically just continue to, uh, especially if I'm with Tony, I'll do the crazy by what's-her-name. The Patsy. Patsy Klein, that's generally, or sometimes oh, I'll do yeah. other ones. That's generally what I've been doing. But yeah, I should think about it. There's probably, that's fun, but there's probably other stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. It's New Year. You guys need to switch it up, find a new song. It's true. Yeah, we need to find a new song. I remember being at a Memphis Redbirds game one time, the AAA team in Memphis, and we were all <laughs> drinking out in the stands, and I found uh, the guy who was playing in the outfield right by us and I looked up all this personal information and I was yelling like (laughs) stuff about like family members and he caught a ball on a third out or something and he immediately turns around and throws the ball right at me (laughs) and I almost caught it with my bare hand which I swear to God would have been the coolest thing ever I ended up with the baseball but it hit my hand and it fell but I almost caught the fucking thing with my bare hand but I didn't (laughs) <laughs> that was so much fun yelling at the people. <laughs> I wouldn't do that now, I don't think. But man, that was fun. Yeah, my buddy was doing that at a Braves game, and we were wasted. And it was Ryan Braun, Brewers outfielder, who was. Yeah, I've heard that name before. Accused of doing PEDs or whatever. And my buddy just got steroids, steroids. <laughs> He's all drunk, us up there. Like, That's, That's so funny. funny. Yeah. yeah. If you would have caught that, they probably just would have let you play. That's oh so my gosh, awesome. I swear to God, I almost <laughs> caught it with my bare hand. It would have been the coolest thing ever. What, uh, what's that movie where the kid is uh, in the in the stands at the major league game and he catches it and he has like a fucked up weird electronic arm or something? Not an electronic yeah, with the year. cast. Or yeah. something with the cast makes him rock at his arm. <laughs> And and it's like a bullet to, to to the home plate, and everybody's like, "Huh? Yeah, my God, what is that? I cannot Rookie remember." Rookie of the year, Rookie of the year. That's a Disney movie, I think. I don't. I think so. And that was a that was a true. Story. Erica, did you care when William was doing lots of cocaine? Did it bother you? Um, I will say. He was an alcoholic and he would, I mean, he was not the most fun drunk, but he would sometimes go a long time without drinking too. He would mostly always get fucked up when it was comedy related. Uh If it's like a friend's hour podcast fucked up, uh, he has a set at a random place, at a backyard, he'll get fucked up. Um, uh, So it wasn't all the time. But he wasn't, I don't know. I think I was trying to drink too, but I'd have like three drinks and he would have like the whole 24 pack and then look for more vodka. And then, <laughs> so uh, I I yeah. would partake in it, but not as much as him. So I just didn't know if it was like, yo, yeah, we're having lots of fun. It was fun sometimes. 
for sure. Yeah, sometimes, but other times it wasn't. Yeah. Well, that's the nature of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. I'd just be so antsy in the backyard talking to people on the phone till five in the morning. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it just makes me feel antsy inside when I even think about it. I'm the same. I'm the same. When you tell me those stories, I'm I'm just really similar. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I would do cocaine too. So I would, yeah, call my friends and talk all Oh, my God. Head. That's, yeah. Not knowing his own yeah. volume. Right by my grandma's bedroom door every night. Not every night, but often. Pandemic, it was all, it was often. Yeah, when I lived right in Hollywood, I had a wonderful place where I lived, just right where I could walk out and smoke, and I'd be out there till <laughs> like before I met Erica, and because I was off Tuesday, Wednesday, after I killed Tony on Monday, I would be out there all night, <laughs> all night long, talking to people, and then I'd see like my roommate and her boyfriend sometimes the next day, like in the kitchen, and I would always feel kind of awkward because I was still just drinking beer out there, and they're <laughs> getting up for work. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> God. Really quickly, I know we're close to the end. Yeah. Uh, years ago, I was living with this guy, and I and I took a bunch of acid at like <laughs> six in the morning when I was hammered. Uh, and his yeah. his mom had come to visit, so his mom was staying at the house, and I was like blackout drunk, and I was like, "Dude, I'm fucking," eh, and yeah. I'm like, "I'm a trip," and <laughs> it, I took like six hits of acid, so it's like a ton of LSD. Yeah, I can't even imagine really that. It's like definitely the most I've ever taken. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm. But that's, most times I've done psychedelics, I'll just be blackout and I'll be like, fuck it. Who mm-hmm. cares, man? Yeah. Ride the tiger. And so whatever, it all hits me and I'm like in my room and I think I was watching uh, <laughs> some war movie or something. <laughs> it was a bad, bad trip. And I came out and his mom's having a cup of coffee and it's like seven in the morning. You know? uh, and I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like hardly humanoid. Yeah. Yeah. And she like said hello. And, but just you saying that when they're like going to work, it made me think she was like, hello. And I, I remember I didn't know how to talk. I, just, I wonder what her like, ass is thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is hello. It is hello. <laughs> it's quite a hello. <laughs> Jersey was so scared. Yeah, she probably was. She's probably like, who is this guy living <laughs> with you here? God. And I walked past her because <laughs> I, I went to, it was like the first time I met her and I walked past her to go smoke. And then when I got outside, I got really scared that our interaction was really bizarre which it probably was yeah, yeah and i was like i can't go back inside so i stayed outside for like three hours just like in the back like man just waiting for like i don't know waiting for the world to change yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for the damn world to change man yeah that was always a bad idea taking acid or something after <laughs> you've been drinking all night oh yeah that happened to me a couple times god yeah we did it a couple times we and it was doing it fun. like once a week yeah, we were. Well, it lowers your inhibitions. You're not as scared about it. There's no like come up anxiety, I guess. Yep, yep. I don't think I have ten hours to spare anymore, though. No, I'd be <laughs> open to do it again sometime, though. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's a long. I don't know. I don't Commitment. know. All right. Well, this was fun today. Um, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, almost New Year. Almost New Year. Right now it's 22, but it won't be anymore. You see this? It'll be 23. There you go. 2023. 2023. There you have it. There you have it. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to The William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. 
This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.